you said there's an exception to an exclusion on an endorsement to my policy? What's that mean? Hey, what's going on? This is Ryan from Smith & Sons Insurance Agency, where we are on a mission to transform the way individuals, families, and businesses secure financial stability. Today's topic is about exclusions and endorsements and uh, provisions and all these things that can be added to the back of the policy that, unless you read, you really don't know about. You want an agent that's reading your policy every year and they know exactly what is covered, what's excluded, and what are the exceptions to those exclusions, what are the provisions that answer to this gap in coverage that you know, it, it can be a mess. You need to sit down with your agent and line by line look at what's covered and what's excluded, what are the exceptions there. I've, I've done some videos recently about the main parts of a policy, right? There's the coverage form, there's the declarations, there's the um, exclusions and endorsements. So take a look at that video, but this video is all about how one thing affects another. So uh, in the past, I've described that you wanna read the policy and have all of the documents laid out, right? And so it can be it can be thick. You can have a 200 page policy. Most cases it's less than 100 pages. That's still a lot of paper to print out. Um, and if you are green, you might be uh, looking at that on a PDF or you know on your cell phone or something. That's a lot of scrolling through. So you want to be able to do this with someone who's practiced and they they've done this many times so that you can easily read a line in the policy and then um, realize that, okay, this endorsement is changing this line of coverage. The policy form says this, that's the standard coverage according to this policy form. This endorsement changes that, it removes, it replaces that description with this other thing. That's how you piece together an insurance policy. Um, but let's say you've got this endorsement that changes the main coverage form and you're reading through it and you say, now, wait a minute, there's this exclusion over here. Um, let's pull that over. Okay, this exclusion changes this endorsement, which changes that policy. That's why you need to sit down with a professional who does this year to year with multiple people. and over time, you'll really learn how to piece together an insurance policy. So another thing to keep in mind is that insurance companies may not be real upfront about making changes to your policy from year to year. Uh, sometimes that's not so much their fault. Other times, you know, they should let somebody know. There could be an update to this exclusion. Um, and so there will be a date on that form that says when that revision came out. Uh, and the changes that are made from one revision to the next could be so, uh, so minute that you might not even realize that they're there, but it could make a huge difference in something that's covered or not covered. So if you want help looking at your insurance policy, whether or not you're a current client with us, uh, you can give us a call. We'd be happy to schedule a time to do that with you. You can call us. Um, you can find our number in the description of this video or check us out online, smithsonsinsurance.com or on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, do us a favor, hit like, maybe leave us a comment here if you're enjoying our videos. Subscribe to us. Most importantly, tell someone you know about us. Uh, that helps us a lot. Spread the word. Like I say, we are on a mission to transform the way individuals, families, and small business owners secure financial stability. And we're doing this through education and uh, proactively engaging 
with people on their insurance. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.